This is Jim Nalen, liturgical guitarist. I'm going to share my arrangement of The Strife is Over, is Or. It's by Giovanni de Palestrina. Okay, I'll play through it first. Okay, that one works either at Easter or it works for funerals even. Um, there's a couple things there that we can talk about, the vibrato and also how I roll those chords. Um, you can, on the vibrato, uh, it's nice to give it a little shake. You gotta do the classical type vibrato. And it's hard to get vibrato way up here on these open chords but you can still give kind of the illusion of it and it helps out with this piece, especially on that first hammer on. So we'll get a good, we'll start from the beginning there, the good G chord. So you're playing the thumb and then I got my, <coughs> I'm playing these with my fingers. So I move my first finger up to the third string on my right hand, second finger on the second and third finger on the third string. Now these fingers are gonna move around a little bit in this when you're playing these chords, so. So that, that's a ha double hammer on, on that C over G. So I'm, I'm, I'm playing all three notes, um, but two of them are getting hammered on. So you, it's not that you, you don't just play the, that, you play all three, and you also play the thumb. But you're hammering two of them. The first and second fingers here, so just, yeah, so play them all, and then, so that's how that, that works. On the top again, uh, and I'm giving it a good shake here to give it a little vibrato. And moving on, and then and C, and now this has got a, a wiggly line in front of the C, that means it should be strummed. <coughs> and you can do that two ways, you can strum it with you know, your thumb, if you want. You can strum it with the, the back of your first fingernail, or any fingernail. Or you can do like I do, choose to do, is, is roll it. So I'm kind of, my thumb's coming down, and, and then I roll these. I seem to have, I think I have a little better control. I still haven't mastered this piece by any stretch, and you could tell that when I was playing it. But um, I, I seem to be a little more consistent in bringing out the, the top note, note. That's the note you want to hear. Same thing on the 
D and the last G. Because you want to hear the melody line at the end there, those last two measures, or three measures, that line. So um, if you just strum it, um, sometimes you don't get as good of um, balance as I seem to get. But you know, everybody's different and you may prefer strumming it. So I, however you choose to do that, but you have to do some kind of strum if you're going to get six strings because you only have four fingers here to use. Maybe five if you use your pinky, but most people don't do that. That's pretty rare. Um, so going into measure eight. Um, it's the G chord with the melody on the third fret of the second string. And then roll that C and then bring the little finger back down on the third fret of the second string. And then we're going to play a run down in, in tenths with the open G in that first chord. And then down to the D. And uh, how did I figure that? I figured it this way, but I always use my thumb. And the G chord, we measure, wait, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I play these pretty even, so I'm plucking those three notes all at the same time with my right hand. I'm not rolling them. Not rolling them. Save the roll for the E minor. And then the, another uh, run in tenths. And it's a little tricky when you're playing with the melody, you're playing big chords and your melody's way down there in the middle of the guitar, in the middle of the range there. Uh, you know, usually your melody's up here on the first string or second string, but sometimes here our melody's down in the third string and it's tricky to bring that out. So you have to really listen and, and try and be aware of that balance. And that's why I like I showed you in an earlier video how uh, when you're with the right hand, um, you kind of, you, when you close it and roll those, I give a stronger kick to my, my third finger here uh, in this camera here. So it's kind of, I, I'm, I'm clo rolling those, but, but the first and second fingers may only go, uh, I, I can do this. I can't show you very well. Halfway down, but my third finger, I close it all the way to the, um, it touches all the way to the palm. The first two come about halfway down, and this one I give a stronger, so that would be that measure. Down to measure 16 again. Now bass run up. chord. This is six strings and you're going to roll them all. Or you could... But it's... it's If you're strumming like that, sometimes you get... So it's out of balance. So you got to really listen to keep the volume uh, at the same. So then measure 28, 23 again. I think that's about like the beginning. And I usually soften it down there so that it's, it, it builds, so it's a little louder, a little louder. Okay, now measure 30 at the top of the page two, it gets a little more interesting. That's more my usual style with the eighth notes. G, C, tense. D, uh, a little movement there, and then the G, bring that bass run down to the E minor, and then a C major 7. So that, I'm playing the, just the C bass, and the open, and the major 7th, the B string, open, and a 
hammer on and a pull off, so a little trill, and triplet, and then second finger, and then, and D, and on that D chord, the last note, forget that A, this, um, or the two on the third string, make that a zero, make it the G, open G. That's crazy to try and hit that note. So just, and it, it leads you right into the G chord. So make it easy on yourself. So this is measure 35, 37. Open third string there. Ignore that uh, note that's written there on the second fret of the uh, third string. Okay. And the G. Bass run and, and C. <coughs> measure 40, line three. Run down in tenths, then D. And you can leave your third finger down from the D chord going into that G. And um, second finger on the sixth string, third fret. Then D. Little, tr um, what's that called? Little pickup note. <laughs> And then a little different here at the, um, the last time. That's the same. But now there's a little bass movement. And a little more bass movement. So we touched on vibrato and we touched on how to roll or strum those, those um, chords that are indicated with the squiggly line. And I think that's about it. So look for more arrangements on liturgicalguitarist.com. I pray God blesses your playing, and I wish you peace.